That's right. They had to manipulate LIBOR by, on order of the Bank of England to create the fake price so that the BBC would report fake news and then bail out a bunch of charlatans. Yeah, and say everything's okay. Don't right. worry, trust your bank. And um, you're supposed the, the prices were supposed to be your verification. Uh, don't trust the bank. Just use these LIBOR rates. Use these sort of numbers. Use the price of gold to d determine whether or not it's true what we're saying. And of course, they had to rig those in order to like it. Basically, they were the bit cash as well of the time. They like if you know the, the speaker before us had a chart which suggested they're. One of the options of why there's a premium on it could be manipulation. A uh, Bitcoin Cash you're referring to? Uh, Big Cash. <laughs> oh yeah, Big Cash. That's another story. We can get into that. Oh yeah, stock trading robots reacting to stories. I just made reference to this. So um, you've got the basically financial news is being written by robots, and then they create the news, and then other robots read that news, and then they do algorithmic trading on Wall Street based on the news written by a robot that a robot uses to trade stocks and create prices that are then reported by another robot. Uh, so that's... That, that's another uh, scary thing to think about is that is Satoshi Nakamoto a robot that created some currency for itself to, um, you know, basically... Well, you know, my theory is that Satoshi is coming from the future and he arrived and he's heading back to the beginning to meet God. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> oh, yeah, and Wells Fargo just nickel and diming people to death. Uh, malicious algorithms that just go in there and steal money. Again, there's no penalty. There's no, there's no criminal um, charges for this type of fraud. And, and it just, this is a, a scourge, like the plague, that needs to be eradicated or, or uh, you know, uh, gonorrhea or syphilis. I mean, Wells Fargo is the syphilis of Wall Street, uh, and Bitcoin is penicillin. Essentially. Yeah, and if you're talking, <laughs> if you turn, if you're talking about looking into the past, one day these sort of headlines will be like this. These are pre-blockchain sort of financial banking stories. Like right. It'll be really like, like yeah. children. You know, p people that are 10, 12 years old now. In the future, they'll. This will look like a freaky world that you could live in a world where bankers could had all control of your wealth and, and they could create fake accounts for you and start trading and you didn't even know that they were operating in your name? Yeah, they won't believe it. They'll be part of the myth. 15 years of collecting rhino semen, finally paying off. Sorry, my mic was off, but this is actually really important why I invest personally in cryptocurrency. I think our banking system is a joke, especially the Wells Fargo uh, scam or hustle, whatever you want to call it. The fact that they were able to make millions of dollars stealing basically reverse Robin Hood, uh, taking money from people who obviously were, were was not as wealthy as Wells Fargo. And once they get caught, it's hilarious that in the beginning, all they did was just fire all the low level employees and that's all that was going to be done. But obviously there was a backlash. Finally, they, they decide to punish the CEO. So they go to the CEO who basically encouraged this fraud there. You know, everything is written down with, you know, the share uh, shareholder meeting. So uh, a clear cut and day that the CEO was totally uh, for or pro opening up these bank accounts and basically nickeling and diming customers. Um, and so they punish him by giving him a $200 million severance package. So they give him a slap on the wrist. You're, they're like, sorry, Mr. CEO, you can't be CEO anymore, but here's $200 million for uh, running such a great scam. And um, this stuff kind of continues because our politicians are bought by banks and uh, you know the bankers have all the money so they can obviously uh, influence politicians to allow this hustle to happen. And crypto is the cure. Max Kaiser is 100% right that um, as these central bankers and banking monopolies, banking cartels lose power over the finance system, they're not going to be able to play games like this. And eventually, they're not going to have the influence or the power to allow politicians or have politicians help them. I'm pretty sure if this keeps continuing, eventually they're going to put in some politicians that, and it was funny that they put in Trump. Trump was supposed to go against the Goldman cartel and kind of break it all up. And I think that's one reason why people really supported Trump. They wanted to see change and were tired of, um, let's just be honest, Obama was bought out by C Citibank. So people want to change and Trump comes to office and it's same old business and it's just hilarious because he ripped on Ted Cruz, ripped on Hillary for being uh, a Goldman lackey and 
obviously Goldman Sachs always wins. And that's actually why I actually am more bullish on crypto because uh, Goldman Sachs has actually been investing in crypto. In fact, if they were shorting it or was were against it, then I would be a little more afraid to invest. So um, please check out RT, check out Max Kaiser. Uh, I'm going to try to cover more uh, fast money, but like I said, people hate the, the fact that I have to come in and out every 30 seconds to uh, give my opinion on the fast money stuff. RT is super chill. I can make my comments like this and not be bothered. And the issue with RT is they do have very long interviews and videos. It's 25 minutes. I, I recommend it, but sometimes people you know, just don't have the time and want you know, the shorter clips and for whatever reason you like my opinion and analysis i hope and if not leave comment <clears throat> leave comments so i can improve and obviously do a better job but anyways let me know what you guys think thank you very much for watching and i will talk to you guys soon